I guess I'm a content creator now. So Top Don sent over the BT100 battery tester. Got a couple batteries to test here, battery in the scooter, battery in a couple cars. So we'll toss this on and see what it'll do. So I've got the battery tester hooked up to the trusty little Honda Spree. We've got a newer battery in it that does say it needs to be maintained, sitting at 12.29 volts. The top down battery tester is showing 12.13 volts. So let's do a quick battery test. Let's see, enter. This is a gel cell. CCA. Uh, I don't think we're rated anywhere near 500 CCA, but we'll still leave it there. So this battery ended up doing 44 CCA at 12.12 volts. So it says bad. We don't actually know the correct CCA rating. Uh, so being it is a Honda Spree, I think 44 CCA is plenty good enough. Let's check out some of these EverStart batteries before we move on to a car. Our next battery up to test is the EverStart Max from Walmart. Uh, date code is uh, 8 of 2019. This says it is 650 cold cranking amps. Uh, this battery has not been used very much, uh, but we do still show 12.5 volts. It was sitting on the battery tender a couple months ago, so it's been sitting for a while. Uh, one quick thing to note is these clamps are very nice. So let's run the battery test on this guy. Battery test. This is a regular flooded CCA. We know this is 650. Six hundred fifty CC eight. So we run the test and see what it'll do. Wow. Okay. Good battery. Uh, healthy. Sixty nine percent. Five hundred thirty nine CC eight at twelve point five three volts. Uh, relatively low internal resistance. So awesome. Good battery. So moving on to our second EverStart Max battery. This is a Group 51R. This was pulled out of a Honda CRV. So this is claiming, uh, let's see, 625 uh, cold cranking amps at 32, whereas it's 500 cold cranking amps in total. So let's give this boy a test. But again, like these clamps are very nice. Nice and springy, nice quality. Grab it on the terminal as well. So, 12.4 volts. Battery test, regular flooded, CCA. Let's bring this down to the 500 CCA. I don't expect this to do anywhere near that. Let's do 500 CCA. Ruplace, 243 CCA, 24%. Uh, much higher internal resistance than the other EverStart Max battery. Again, we were rated at 500 CCA. This did 243. So this battery was replaced uh, in our CRV. So that's why it's sitting in the pile. Lastly, let's do a test on the camo cabbie. So this battery came with the car when I bought it roughly two years ago, maybe a little bit more than two years. So who knows how old the battery actually is. It is claimed to be rated at 650 CCA. I have not run the car in a couple weeks and it's still sitting at 12.71 volts. So let's take a look. Battery test, regular flooded, CCA 650. Let's run it. Wow. This did 807 CCA. It's only rated at 650. Very low internal resistance and still, again, sitting 12.7 volts. Amazing. So this battery did better than rated. So let me show. 650 at zero degrees Fahrenheit. Wow. Does better than rated. So nice, short, sweet video. To the point. Uh, tested four batteries. Good results on three of them. I expected the Group 51R to not perform. 
uh, again, because we did have to replace the battery in that car. So again, the Top Down uh, BT100, actually a really cool device. Highly recommend it, 50, 60 bucks on Amazon. Uh, awesome for diagnosing stuff. Yeah, go for it.